All right, now that I have my simulator running, I want to show you guys how awesome it is to make layouts with React and React Native and Flexbox. Now, React Native, as far as I know, is the only platform, like the only way to build apps with Flexbox. And that for me is lovely because I come from a web developer background. And when you come from a web developer background and you can use technologies that you already know, such as Flexbox, to make an app, you just fall in love with the platform. It's just awesome. Now, if you don't know Flexbox, I would encourage you to go and check out our Cacao Clone course where I teach you what Flexbox is and how it is great to build layouts with. And it's with uh, CSS and HTML. Now, React Native, thankfully, takes the best part of that, which is Flexbox, and lets us build layouts with it. So now I want to show you how um, Flexbox works on React Native because it's not quite the same as how it is on CSS, but it is almost like it. So the first thing I'll do is I'll remove what I did in the last video. And I'm gonna create two empty views, all right? Now one view is gonna be called red view. And I'm gonna uh, give this view a flex of one and a background color of red. Now the next one will be a yellow view. And I'm gonna give it a flex of one also and a background color of yellow. Let's see how it looks. All right, lovely. I'm gonna save and I am going to give both of these ones red view and yellow view. All right, and I'm gonna remove everything that I don't need here. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have the container is a flex one. This means that it will take the whole space of the screen as much space available as it has. It's a flex one, all right? And now after it, inside of it, I have a flex one on the red view and a flex one on the yellow view. Now, this proportion right now is one to one, all right? This means that they take all the space they can, taking into account the other one. This means that they will go half and half, all right? But for example, if I want to make the most uh, common and used um, pattern on mobile, we would be something like this, where this will be the navigation bar, maybe, maybe six. That'll be the navigation bar, and uh, the yellow one will be the content, for example. So as you can see, just right there, we have almost a mobile layout just with a three lines of code, just learning what Flexbox is and what it does for us. Now Flex 1, Flex 6, Flex everything, it doesn't, does, it's not coming from CSS, but what it's doing is basically giving us the ratio of how much we're gonna, how much we want to um, cover of the screen. Now this is just one example of the things you can do with Flexbox, but now let's change it a little bit. And instead of taking up the whole screen, because we don't want to, we don't want to take the whole screen, I'm gonna give red view and yellow view 50 pixels of height and both of them will have 50 pixels of width. So now look at how they look, lovely, just there, okay? Uh, now what happens? If you know Flexbox, and I hope you do, you know that we have justified content and align items and flex direction. By default, React Native comes with flex direction of column. It doesn't come with flex direction of row. Now, if you come from an HTML CSS background, the default is this one. On uh, HTML, CSS. If we did this on a website, it will look like this. But by default, because web apps are mostly made of columns, because the iPhone is like a column, then by default, flex on the React Native is made with the flex direction of column. All right? And that's it. This gives you the same rules that we'll have in a flex direction column or a flex direction row in CSS. This means that we can do stuff like justify content, comma here first, justify content center, 
oh, center is not defined, sorry. And this is gonna go away. Uh, this needs justify content center. I also have align items. And I can also say center if I want. Lovely. Now, don't forget that is not CSS what we're doing, all right? We are creating something called style sheets, but that is a React Native style sheet. So the properties look different. Now, the rules for the properties, instead of doing something like align items like this, all right, we camel case it. Camel case it means that if the next word is a different word, we do this, align items, all right? And all the values should be like this on a string because there are strings center or space between or anything okay and don't forget also that we have to put a comma if we are creating an object okay this is the only thing that it might look confusing for a css person and is that they have to put commas and basically they have to write css like if it was javascript but apart from that that's all you need to know now, what else should I teach you for Flexbox? I think that's it. It's just uh, we have all the justified contents. We have uh, Flex Start. We have also Flex End. We have also Space Between. We have also Space Around. All right, and of course, if we flip it, we have Flex Direction of row comma all right so now it works and flex end and of course we also have the lovely align self all right and also of course here align self center okay um what else do we have we also have wrap if you ever want to do wrap we can wrap also so just let me copy paste a shit ton of these ones oh problem oh here let's go and refresh a little bit and i'm gonna keep adding more And I'm gonna get rid of the align selves because I want you guys to see how it looks. You see? It looks like a like a pizza place, it looks cool. But we also have the flex wrap. Alright, and the way we do it is also flex wrap wrap or no wrap also. No wrap and wrap. Alright? So we have all these things. So that's it, people. If you remember, if you don't know um, CSS and you don't know Flexbox, I should I encourage you to stop this course and go to the Cacao Clone where you will learn the basics so you can come back here and understand what do I mean when I say flex direction or when I say align items or when I say flex wrap, all right? But if you know what I'm talking about, then you should be really happy because it's super easy to make layouts with Flexbox. As you know, in CSS, everybody loves Flexbox because it's super easy to make a layout. And uh, it's also responsive and it's also nice. And if we take all these things and we bring them to our um, life in React Native, it's just, uh, I think it's just the best um, combination ever. All right, so see you on the next one where we actually going to start building the first screens of our app.